Hi, and welcome to AL is not a lazy language. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, the story behind today's video is that one of the guys from eFocus approached me the, the other day and asked, I got this if statement that is behaving weird and uh, it's not doing what he would expect it to do. Um, and um, it turned into a quite interesting story. Uh, conversation and I thought I'll do a video about it. So let's start somewhere else. Um, here's Visual Studio Code, but as you can see, the program on the screen is certainly not AL. This is C Sharp. And um, this is about if statements and it, it's about something called lazy uh, evaluation, meaning that in let, let's let me show an example so if i create a static bool function one here and we just output to the console saying that this is you no know, function one and then we exit false how about that and let's just copy that into a, another function called f2 we put a two and we could say that that should and 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 you know <laughs> this is so, so did, did anybody notice what i did there i started writing al in the middle of c sharp uh, because you have to do return in c sharp uh so that's that was, that's pretty funny return true and i do that all the time if i have a a project like like you know like bccl uh part of it one half of that is written in c sharp and the other one is al and if you if i'm developing a new function for that i'm doing stuff in c sharp and in al basically at the same time so it, that turns out to be some very weird code sometimes anyway so this is a great piece of c sharp here so we can do that if f1 and uh, if two, uh, then console right line success. And let's do a console dot read. I shouldn't actually be necessary. And then we'll do a console dot right line done. How about that? And then let's actually do both of them as true. So I'll hit a five here. And this thing will build just in a second when there we go. So can you see? Yeah, you can see that. That's perfect. So you can see what we got here on, on the console is F1, F2, success and done. Um, so that's pretty good. If I turn this one into returning false, the second part of the if statement. And I am building this and running it again. Come on. We get F1, F2 and done. Because so both of them are evaluated. But here's the thing. If I do that F1 is returning false, F2 is returning true, and I run this now. I get F1 done. So, and this is lazy evaluation, meaning that if we look at this if statement up here, oh, it's getting big now. So, if F1 and that this is this is equal to you do an and in in uh, in AL. Um, so, if both of these are true then success, but it, the evaluator in, in C Sharp is clever enough to figure out that this one is false and therefore this whole statement can never be true. So there's no reason for, uh, for the system to evaluate the rest of the statement, lazy evaluation. So it's like, okay, that's too bad. It'll, this will never be, be true. So I might as well stop. Um, now let's do a uh, a good friend AL go here, and I'll just do something quick here. 
and we got the hello world and I'm going to my own server called BC 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 I'll just get some symbols we got some symbols that's all good here and and this one so let's do the exact same thing here procedure f1 boolean begin now we're doing i'm not going to type return now i learned my lessons so exit false and then let's copy this guy uh, <laughs> and we'll do false and then here we need to do message f1 oops and here we'll do message f2 so we can do on this one let's just do this very simple and saying if f1 and f2 oops no parentheses here and f2 then message what did we do in the other one success so we let's start what actually do true 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 just so we see that we do get the success i'll deploy and we come on business central let's see if this one we need to log in because this is the first time let's make it a big tad bigger come on dc we got F1, F2, success, as expected. Okay, so here's the here's one confused. Uh, so let's do false on the first part. So if we were in a modern language, such as C Sharp or uh, other languages, we would expect to get just F1 and nothing else. But here we'll get F1, F2, and no success. So AL, as the title of the, the video says, is not a, um, a lazy language. And, and, and what does that mean? That means that when you do a compounded if statement, um, and I'm actually just going to open up something from another on another screen here i should have done that before the video starts but i'm super fast in loading a license um let's see if we can do this so so why why is this so so of course what you need to do in order to do compounded is simply do if f1 then if f2 that would give us the compounded that will only evaluate if f2 if f1 f1 nothing else uh, so, so so that's the solution here but why so the somebody's uh, but hang on eric if behind the scene al is cross compiled to c sharp and you started out by telling us and showing us that c sharp is a lazy evaluated language why is AL not a lazy language. And the reason for that is legacy code. So let me actually grab something ancient here. Uh, let's see if we can make this uh, bigger. Let's see if this works. Come on. Well, maybe I'm, 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 I'm I have never been good at the whole Windows zooming thing. There we go. So you can see here is the same thing, but written in, I have no idea what this is. This is, uh, wow, this is a uh, 5.0. Um, actually 2009, but it's apparently a 5.0 database. Let me get before I completely zoom away. So I run this. I get F1, F2, 
So the exact same behavior. And, and so the reason for all this, that even though, yeah, AL is cross compiled into C sharp and all that stuff, the, the legacy of AL is CAL and, and the old AL code, which was n not lazy evaluated. So it would be very dangerous for Microsoft to introduce lazy evaluation because that would break code that would that are dependent on that you get uh, all uh, all expressions, all the conditions evaluated. Um, but in reality, you should never be in the situation where you rely on the lazy evaluation. Uh, even though it's not there, but uh, if if we're suddenly introduced, you you should either compound if statements the way they are logically compounded, if if that is the behavior you you want, or even better, try to avoid these uh, uh, conditional statements with side effects. And what is a conditional statement with with a side effect? Well. Bunch of them are, uh, let's say that we, we have a, um, a record here, right? So if we do, if find set, well, that does something to the variable. So, so um, that's why it's not the best example, but, but let's do if next equal zero, that moves the the, the cursor on the table, meaning that if we call the same if statement again, we do move the cursor once more. And um, so, so you, you really need to differentiate between conditions that you can you can just call and condition that has a side effect. Uh, and and that, that can be dangerous in some cases. So, so the, the problem arises, of course, if you then put a like next a condition a, a condition that has a side effect into something and expecting lazy behavior or expecting non lazy behavior, whatever it is, that potentially the code will not behave the way you intend it to be. Um, so that's that's lazy uh, evaluation. For you and uh, no such thing in AL, even though we consider this a modern language and a modern thing, there's a history behind this, and that's the reason why AL is not a, a lazy uh, evaluated ex conditions expressions. Um, and um, that's it for today's video. Remember to subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below if you ever got hit by this or you expected this. Uh, I I see it suddenly from from people coming into uh, our industry, coming from other languages. That there are quirks like this that that throw them off sometimes. Um, anyway, until next time, have a wonderful day.